Hey y'all! Have any of you guys ever gone to KC Live's Hot Country Nights? Or gone to a NASCAR race at Kansas Speedway? Or what about indulging yourself in some of Kansas City's famous barbecue? Well, if you've done any of those things, then you've participated in KC's country culture. I'm Cassidy, and I've watched a NASCAR race at Kansas Speedway, and I've tried out many KC barbecue restaurants, though I've never been to Hot Country Nights. I want to, though. Kansas City is a big city, with multiple suburbs surrounding it, so there is plenty of places for everyone of every subculture, the country subculture being one of them. Though you don't see much of the country subculture deep in the city, it is always there. Living in the, living in the Midwest will make everyone, no matter how city they believe they are, a little country. Country culture appears at Hot Country Nights, the, the Kansas Speedway, and the Kansas City's famous barbecue. First, I'd like to clarify what a culture is. According to Richard Barrett in his book, Culture and Conduct, a culture is the systems of agreed upon meanings that act as guidelines in the society. In my opinion, a culture is the guidelines and meanings of people within a greater society. It's what distinguishes um, people's beliefs and values around the world. But what is a subculture? A subculture is when people share an identity outside of the overarching culture including sharing ideas, beliefs, and values separate from the greater culture and the feeling of being an outsider, as Hanfler defi defined in his book, Subcultures, the Basics. However, how can one define something as broad as country? People understand what you are referring to, but there's never, never been a de definite definition of the idea. The author of One Country, a lifestyle article about country living, said said living in the country living the country life means living the good life it's as simple as that to me country means loving the simpler things in life uh taking it easy not rushing around everywhere it means knowing your neighbors loving the outdoors uh it's getting dirty <laughs> drinking beer around a campfire and enjoying what life gives you there are lots of meanings of country but that's how i define country as So how, is country, how is, so how is country a subculture? Country is a subculture because people who are in the subculture share beliefs and values that not everyone in our overall culture shares. People in the country subculture also have specific vocabulary that doesn't make sense out of the context of the subculture. How is Kansas City country? Well, Kansas City itself isn't very country. It is a city and there's nothing very rural, rural about it. But for the most part, the people who live in this here, pe the people who live here, uh, enjoy almost everything that makes up the country lifestyle. It's not necessarily the city that is country, but it's the heart of its people. How does being country embody Kansas City? Well, there are many ways the country subculture so splits up. As I have stated before, it's at Hot Country Nights, the Kansas Speedway, and it's seen in Kansas City barbecue. Though it's not necessarily kept there. A hot country nights, everyone dresses up to celebrate country music with live, popular artists from the genre. As their Facebook page explained, it is the country concert series happening every Thursday evening all summer long. Those are part of the country subculture where specific types and styles of clothes that allow others to easily identify them as part of the subculture. That's why when people want to embody the country subculture, they wear flannel, boots, uh, and even cowboy hats. I talked with people who went to Hot Country Nights and they described HCN as a fun experience filled with like-minded people who enjoy country music and style. And of course, they dress the part. The Kansas Speedway hosts uh, two weekends of NASCAR races every, each year. And what do most people associate NASCAR with? Country folks. I've gone to a few races at Kansas Speedway so I can explain from personal experience that it embodies a lot of what country is. NASCAR, in and of itself, is simple, and people will enjoy it because it's not very difficult to follow or understand. It also has beer. Lots and lots of beer. Many people associate NASCAR with country, especially country music, because many country artists were also avid racers, and uh, as the official web website for NASCAR explains. So when country music began uh, becoming like very popular, um, the same people who were interested in country music were also becoming interested in NASCAR as well. 
The Kansas Speedway embodies enjoying the simpler things, being outside, and the relaxed feeling that draws people into the country subculture. Backyard barbecue, barbecues are a staple in the country subculture. People in this subculture enjoy being outside, having fun with their friends and neighbors around a campfire while, while enjoying beer and eating some good barbecue. Kansas City is also very famous for our barbecue, so where else would people go? A writer for the website KansasCity.com compiled a list of every barbecue restaurant from A to Z, uh, which is more than 75 in the city. As the author explained, uh, we use every type of meat in our barbecue, but we're also best known for our sauce and our burdens. While there isn't very many places to enjoy a backyard barbecue in the city, there are the many barbecue restaurants in Kansas City offers uh, often have outdoor seating or variety of ways to create that friendly laid-back experience. So, the country subculture is very distinctive but it's also very sub subtle when you're in big cities like Kansas City. Country subculture, as sang by, as sang by the Zac Brown band in the song Chicken Fried, uh, is it's funny how it's the little things in life that mean the most, not where you live, what you drive, or the price tag on your clothes. There's no dollar sign for a peace of mind this I've come to know. Hot Country Nights, Kansas Speedway, and Kansas City Barbecue all have one thing in common, beer. Yeah. In all honesty, they all embody certain activities or feelings that many people in the, in the country subculture enjoy about it. Thank you for watching.